What's up guys, how are you? This is another review that I'm gonna do. Just another showcase unboxing, just for you know a lot of the stuff that I've been picking up. And I've been, if you've already seen a couple of them, I have been doing them on the Ben Presto statues that I've been buying, especially for this particular line, which is the My Hero Academia line, um, for the specific, the Amazing Heroes. And this one is volume four, which is Kirishima. Uh, this is, um, again, from Ben Presto. Uh, Crane King is also another. They, these, these things are sometimes in like a crane machine over in Japan, um, if you guys didn't know that. But this is the box um, here titled Volume 4 for the Amazing Heroes. Um, so this is the fourth figure in this line. Um, here's the side of the box as well, showing off more of the statue. And this is a full um, shot of Kirishima in in the statue form. Here it also shows his quirk, which is hardening. Of course, if you watch the show, you will understand what his superpower is. Uh, this is uh, an amazing character. He had a great um, he had a great story arc, I guess, in season four, which is currently going on right now. Um, but let's take a look at him on the inside. So I normally open the box from the bottom, in which I've already cut the tape. And if you've never seen these um, before, they do come in this cardboard uh, encasing and everything else is wrapped up inside a plastic. So you guys will get to see that right now. And here we go. So that's what it would really look like on the inside. And you would just pull out, um, or you can cut this tape here. I like to keep my packaging intact so I will typically just pull this right out and it will show you everything that's inside the packaging. So there you have what is going on inside with all parts. So let's take these all out and you'll see what's what it comes with. Okay guys, so we have four pieces that came inside the box. Uh, we have here your stand, of course, with some pegs on it in which you will basically self-explanatory. Got to plug those peg holes right at the bottom. So here we have the bottom torso uh, for the statue already. Uh, we have the Kirishima uh, has, you know, just regular pants, boots, but he's got this, I guess you could call like a... I don't know, this was probably part of his cape, not a cape, but you know what I mean. It's just something goes over the waist. Uh, but I mean, it just shows the detail and how it looks like it's flowing all throughout. Um, it's got all the jagged edges here um, for, for how it's going to show off. We have the upper torso for the remaining part of his costume, which isn't very much. He's got these gears for like his shoulder pads and this, um, I don't really even know what this is called right here, but it is there. It is a loose part, uh, but it is, you know, part of this shoulder piece that is attached to it. Um, but you can see right here on his right arm, it's got his hardening quirk effect happening. Uh, it hasn't spread throughout his whole body. It's just really on the right arm. But if you've seen the show, you know it goes throughout his whole body. And then we have the head sculpt, which is awesome. He's got his mask on, which is like a metal type thing, but it is plastic, of course. Um, but you can see the depth in the mouth, um, the great paint apps that's going on with the eyes, and it just looks awesome right there. His hair, he's got the little hair horns right there, and his hair has some black wash in it too. So it looks really well done, especially for each individual spike part to make it look, you know, just as good as it does in the anime. But with these pieces, of course, with Bam Presto, you have to build your statue. Um, makes it easier to fit inside this box right here. So let's go ahead and put this guy together. Uh, it's very self-explanatory. These things do not come with any um, instructions on how to do it. Uh, but just be careful when you are assembling them. Sometimes you will, you may have to use a little bit of force, 
but with Banpresto, I've never really had to use much force aside from just making sure that it's, you know, intact. Uh, let's just grab the head and you can see there's different shapes that making sure you're going to make it fit in properly instead of, you know, putting it somewhere where it shouldn't be, but you will feel it slide right there you go there we go so there is a statue and it looks awesome so now he's knelt down um so it, the height isn't really there but if you were to stand up you could tell that it's probably a good seven or eight inches uh let's place him on the stand like so and there we have that so in my opinion, not in my opinion, but to measure it out, I'd say it's, see from top of his head, it's about six inches. Um, but we'll compare it with the other statues that came in the line. Okay, so there's Kirishima, how he looks right on the stand. It looks awesome. Got this flowing cloth going on. And up close, you can see really well done. Uh, with Midoriya, considering the crouching type of stance, you, of course, Midoriya is definitely taller in the way it looks. Um, but that's how he looks next to Midoriya. And then next to Todoroki, much taller Todoroki. And especially Todoroki is actually um, in this kind of jumping type stance uh, so he will be elevated a bit at the same time bakugo is definitely elevated considering the fact that he's in a in like a jumping stance as well um so he's in the air uh but he looks great next to them considering you know these two are friends as well and i think that looks awesome so there you guys have it we have Volume 4, Kirishima, right on display now. And then we can fit Todoroki there, as well as Midoriya right there. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I know I'll be continuing more of these. I love, you know, these statues. I love, um, you know, putting them on my display. I think this show is amazing, and these statues from Banpresto are great. So... If you guys like the video, just make sure you hit the like button. Uh, also, subscribe if you're new. Check out my hunt videos. Uh, I've been hunting for quite some time now, and I just enjoy you know, building on my collection. At the same time, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys watch the show. Um, let me know if you have any you know, things that you, you want to know about. So thank you guys again. I hope to see you on the next hunt.